Good morning, folks. All right, let's try this one. Happy Christmas, everybody. Ah, that is better. I'm glad that you're awake on Christmas morning. And I'm so pleased to see children here. We're going to have show and tell in a little while. My, am I allowed to say my favourite part of Christmas morning service? I don't know, but uh, I suppose I should say, the, you know, when we read the Bible and that is... <laughs> But Christmas morning wouldn't be out without show and tell, would it? So, um, grown-ups, you're allowed to show and tell as well, if you like. Great to see you here. Some of you here, many of you here, uh, friends and family, uh, wonderful, great to see you. We're here, and we're going to worship Jesus for a little while this morning before we move into the rest of the stuff. I promise we're not going to be long. I know the turkey's in the oven, and uh, the roast potatoes have got to go in, and all the rest of it. Let's pray, and then we're going to sing. Father, we thank you for this day. Um, As we said yesterday, we know this isn't the day that Jesus was really born, but we know that he was born, and that is what we celebrate, and that's what we're here for together this morning. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you left the glory of heaven and you came to earth to be our saviour, born as a helpless baby into the arms of a of a young girl, really, so vulnerable. But you came in order to be our saviour, to rescue us, to give us hope and eternity. And we worship you for that. So in these moments that we spend together, would our hearts go out to you and may the worship of them be pleasing to you, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Music team, come and join us. We're going to start with Joy to the World. Just a great song. Uh, To me, it epitomizes Christmas. It's an old, old song, you know that. But it just epitomizes what it's all about. It's joy to the world. Let earth receive her king. Let us receive our king into our hearts this morning. Let's stand as we worship him. Children, show and tell time. What do you got to show us? If you are willing, would you come to the front? I promise you I am not infectious today. I might sound it, but I'm not. So don't worry, and I've just wiped my hands in case. I want to blow, wow, my word. Rory, what are you? Come, 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 come. (laughs) Love this. Is it, a, is it a, this is where you really begin to realise how old you are, because you don't know what things are. Rory, what is it? Um, it's a hoodie, no, it's a, I can't remember what it 
You can't remember what it is. Good lad, you make me feel it's a hooded something. Yeah. Is it like a onesie thing, sort of like yeah. in the evenings and that kind of thing for watching telly and, and whatnot? Uh, yeah. yeah, that kind of thing. You're going to be super warm in that. And you've got something else there as well. A uh, harmonica. A uh, harmonica. Give us a tune. Give us a tune. Next person in, in, our, in our music team, I think, there. I'm sure I heard a note that comes in Amazing Grace there somewhere. <laughs> right, Georgia and John, what have you got? Let me do Georgia first, can I? Georgia, come in here. Show, hold it right up for everybody. Look. Yes, a giant. Is that a, a giant My Little Pony? No. No? Tell me what. <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> what is it, Georgia? It's a Pegasus. It's a Pegasus. Of course it is. Yes. And, and does it have hair that grows and that kind of thing? No. What do you do with it? No, you play with it. Oh, ah. Do it again. Ah, music. Music. I should have had, I should have had my handy doodah. That is wonderful. There's, look at the colours on it. Fantastic. Right, I've got to be quick, otherwise I'm going to be here all day and we won't have time for anything else. That's lovely, Georgia. Uh-oh, don't point that at me. I think I know what that does. Does it, does, it, does it fly? I think we're allowed to do that, aren't we? Point it up in the air. Show us how it goes. Can you show us how it goes? Pull it down. Yep. You've got to pump it. How many pumps does it need? Lots of pumps? No. You don't know. Thank you. Yeah, just stay back. Don't, don't get Martin, whatever you do. Come on then, John, let's have a look. Where are we going to aim it? Aim it, aim it at, at um, Rebecca up in the top there. Can you see her? Can you see her head? Can you aim it? You can have, are you going to aim it at her? It won't hit her, not really. Because you're not really supposed to... Hang on, I'm telling people to aim at people. No, don't aim at anything. Oh, dear. Is it going to work? Shoot it. He'll shoot it when he wants to. Uh, here comes Dad. Come on, Dad. Help him. He's allowed to. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, love it. Who else we got? Good boy. Come on. Arthur, what we got in here? Yo-yo. A yo-yo. A yo-yo in a packet. You know it's going to be a good one, don't you? Take it out. Let's have a look. Ooh. Very good. You can change the colour of the string. So you can change the string, and does it do tricks? Yeah. If you make it do tricks, can you do one? No. No. <laughs> Keep practising. By the end of today, you will. God, what were you going to tell me? I'm not <laughs> Now, have a practice. Tell you what, I'm not here next Sunday, but show me the Sunday. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like the rest of his family, he's very modest, and here he is, he's a yo-yo genius. A yo -yo trick book. You've got a trick book as well, right, come on. Ted, come and show me. This is talking, this talking gingerbread man. A talking gingerbread man. We need to come this way a little bit, just so that they can see. Talking gingerbread man, show me him talking. You record, you record stuff on there that you press play. <laughs> Uh-huh. Very good. Like that one. Excellent. Samuel. Last year, I think it was a kookaburra ball, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And this year? It's cricket gloves. Cricket gloves. You have got a cricket fan. There's lots of cricket fans here, but right at the back there, my son-in-law, have a word with him. He's mad keen on cricket. He plays way too much well he doesn't because he's got a baby now but uh, he likes cricket excellent what sort are they kookaburra. That, oh they are kookaburra so that's even i know that's quite good isn't it yeah. yeah excellent good lad what have we got here little ones come come you're gonna have to tell me your names this is sebi sebi what have you got to a spider man oh can i have a look look at him hold him right up high so everybody can see hold him up that's it. Can you see Spider-Man? He's a wibbly-wobbly Spider-Man. Lovely. Santa. 
There's, yes, it's Santa up in the top. <laughs> Santa Rebecca, fancy that. And who is this? Who else have we got? This is Maybelline. Maybelline is shy this morning, but she has got... A squishy ball a, that goes orange. A squishy ball <laughs> that goes orange. A stress ball for daddy, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it is a girl, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's, Re, that's Rebecca up there. Not going to embarrass her at all. Who haven't we seen? Come on, Jasmine. Did I get it right? Yeah. Oh, yes. Got something right. What, what have you got? Um, I've got an air up and a frog. A frog. Does your frog do anything or do you no. just like frogs? Frogs. You just like frogs. And and this one, it's a... Air up. An air up. It's a water bottle, is it? Yeah. But has a flashy name. What what does it do? I mean, that's a water bottle, um, but presumably if it's an air up, it does something. It flavours the water. I knew. I knew. Excellent. Very nice too. We've got a little girl going to electrify herself down here. Who haven't we done? <laughs> Caleb, come on. Right, what we got? We've uh, got rocket. a rocket thing. Maybe we can have a look at that afterwards. <laughs> yeah, has it been opened? Has it, has it worked? No. no, right, well. We haven't done it yet. Not done it yet, but that is something to look forward to for the rest of the day. And? We, we got a table to the stable, but I've only got the You've bat got the bat. Hold the bat up, hold the bat up so we can see. Yeah, nice one. And, and, what's it called? The, Tandem X flying model rocket. Hold it up so they can see. There we go. Excellent. Good. Who haven't we done? There must be somebody. Come on. Yeah. What's, what's your name, my darling? Talia. Naya. Naya. Oh, yes, I know your mum and dad, don't I? Right. Now, hang on. Guys, can we just make some room so we can see, everybody can see what Naya has got? And I need to come to... Uh, our little princess. What have you got, Naya? Rapunzel. Rapunzel. And what is special about Rapunzel? She's got some special something, hasn't she? Hairbrush. She has some special hair. Is it very, very long hair? Like yours. You've got long hair, haven't you? Yeah. That is, she's lovely. She really is. Nice. And last of all, I think we've got Patsy. Patsy, what have you come to show us? Show everybody. Yeah. And, and do your feet fit in there? Yeah. Oh, just like a princess. Yeah. They are lovely. Thank you so much. Have I done everybody? Yeah, everybody? Okay, thank you. Go, give them a round of applause. <laughs> oh, to be a child again, eh? Let's say thank you for, for these children and all the other children. Father, we do thank you for, uh, on Christmas Day, as we remember the birth of Jesus as a baby, we thank you for the children, the children that you've given to us, the children that are here and the children that aren't here that we know and love. Father, would you bless these children? And would you help them amongst all of the presents, help them to enjoy them and appreciate them? But Lord, would you help them to know what today is all about at the the reality of it, to grow up to know and love you for themselves. So we thank you for them, in Jesus' name. Amen. Right, let's sing a couple of songs, a couple of carols. We're going to sing, it's a happy, happy day. I hope most of you know this one. If you don't, you will have it as an earworm before you go uh, from this morning. And then we're going to sing, O come all ye faithful born this happy morning. Um, during that, we're going to take up uh, an offering, of just a, a free will offering. Um, those of you who are part of the church here know that uh, our Christmas gifts this year are going to Tear Fund. Um, for those of you who are visitors and guests, we're not asking or expecting you to contribute to this. It's, we don't ask people to come to church and then take the money from them. But if you would like to join with us in giving money to Tear Fund, who are a relief agency working around the world, a Christian relief agency working around the world with some of the most needy people, um, then do feel free to contribute. We're going to bring a bag or a bags around. That will be during O Come All Ye Faithful. First of all, happy, happy day. Let's stand up, if you can.
we're going to spend a moment or two in prayer, praying to our God who sent his son Jesus for us. Father, we thank you for this day and all it means to us, all it represents, all that we remember. The Saviour, your Saviour, who came into the world to save your people because you loved us and you wanted better things for us. You wanted better things in life and better things for sure after death. Thank you so much. The cost for you, the cost for Jesus to leave the glory of heaven, to come down to be one of us, dwelling with us, becoming one of us, flesh and blood, in time and for eternity. The reality is that right now in heaven there is is a man who's there for us, A human being in heaven, representing us before a holy God. Thank you, Father, for Jesus. Thank you for his birth. Thank you for his life, his death, his resurrection. Thank you for what he's doing right now. Living. Living as our our representative, our, our lawyer, pleading our case when we need it. Would you help us to love him? And in a moment, as we just spend a few moments in your word, would you speak to us and give us a a fresh appreciation of him? So we thank you for Jesus today, but we are aware that whilst we rejoice, many of us, and we're here with our families, our children and our grandchildren and great-grandchildren, we are super aware, Father, that for many this is not that happy family time those who would have loved to have had children that didn't, those who've had children and lost them, those who've got children who are estranged from them, those who are living in families with, with dynamics that are just not working as they hoped they would. Oh, our Father, we pray that for those families particularly, that you would draw near and they would find their joy and their peace in you above all things. Father, we pray for our world, our troubled world. We pray again for Ukraine. We pray for, you, for, for Israel, the very birthplace of our Saviour. We pray that peace may come. We pray for your people, our brothers and sisters, who are living in places where there is no Christmas and where to show that they are followers of Jesus would be to put their, their lives and livelihoods at risk, draw near to them we pray today. Those who are working, those in our health service, Lord, we pray for them today. Those who are keeping us safe, those who are ready to help and assist us when we need it, thank you for them today. But Lord, would you help us to treasure and enjoy Jesus above everything? Not just today, but throughout the year, in all of our lives. We worship you and we thank you. We give you praise and glory and honour. In Jesus' name, amen. We've got a few minutes. Let's just have a little dip into one of the most profound passages of the Bible that speaks of Jesus. John chapter 1. Going to have a look at these verses. They'll come on the screen uh, for you. And I'm going to make some comments. We'll have a little activity together before we do that. We're going to be thinking this morning about light. Okay? Just notice how many times this passage speaks about Jesus being the light of the world. That's what we're going to think about uh, in a moment. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without him, nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He only came as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. 
He came to that which was his own, and, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent nor of human decision or of a husband's will, but born of God. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Okay, that will do. There's more on there that we could read, but that will do. I can show you a picture. And uh, so PowerPoint will come up on here. Okay, just a happy Christmas to you all, by the way. I'm going to show you a picture. In your family groups or in your row, what I want you to do, I don't know quite what this is going to come up like, is to see how many different sort of lights that you can see. Sorts of lights, not how many lights. Here's the picture. Hope you can see that. As best as you can, if you need to move to come near the front, you are welcome to, but how many different sorts of lights can you see? So the, the car has got two headlights. I, that's, that's, but that's one, one sort of light, all right? Lots of stars, but I just want only one star count. So I'll give you a few moments, think about that, have a count. There's no prizes, just a sense of satisfaction of getting as many as I did. <laughs> right, you got another minute? Unless you think you're done. Right, you've gone quiet. How many did you get? Forty. Fourteen. About 14, 15, 17. Bridget got 12. <laughs> Any, anything different? 12. You're all wrong. Right, hopefully, can you see my little circles that go up? Right, there's one top left corner. Can you see those? Yep, so that's two. Three, the television in the, in the window. Ah, yeah, source of light. Bottom left, car headlight, torch, star, top. Street light, got all these. Inside light, lamp. Shop sign. So you see the reindeer? You got him? Just there? Right, and you, wouldn't, you probably wouldn't know, but that's actually a, that's a, that's a lit up shop light. Big fry something, chips. Minus headlamp. Pelican doodah. Minus light. Ladies light on the bike. Did you get that one? Who got that one? Oh, good stuff. Got good eyes. And then there's the, you see that one? Yeah. And where's that one? Is that it? No, no, there's another one. Traffic lights. See the traffic lights? And the sign for the Pelican Crossing right down the bottom. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> bottom. Okay, that's 19. If you didn't get 19, you're wrong. My decision is final on Christmas Day. Father's prerogative. Right. So we're thinking about lights. We're thinking, the Bible says that Jesus is the light of the world. 
and he's lots of different kind of lights. Lights that do different things. There's lights that illuminate the way. There are lights that help people live in here. There are lights on there that warn of danger, the pelican crossing or the ambulance and that kind of thing. The traffic lights help to guide people to keep them safe. We live in a dark world, and you know that. Jesus, in so many ways, operates as a light in those ways. I'm going to give you just three this morning. He's a, a light of I'm going to call it illumination, a light of knowledge. I'm not, I haven't been, I haven't, it's Christmas, I haven't had time to put it on, on the screen. It took me all the time to get these little circles on there. So, the light of illumination. There's a verse in the letter to the church at Corinth. It says, for God made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus you want to know what God is like then look at Jesus now many of you instinctively know that but Jesus is like he operates he comes as a light to show us what God is like you are very good at taking part in that bit so I'm going to give you another thing I want you to take part in this morning tell me some of the things that that Jesus shows us about God. What is it about God that Jesus reveals to us? When you look at Jesus and you see the things that he did, the kind of person that he was, the things that he said, what do we learn about God from Jesus? Fire away. Just shout them out nice and loud. Gene, compassion, like that. Loving. Slow to anger. Good. Forgiving. Down the front here. Eternal. Yes. Patient. Down the front. Haven't heard anything from this side. Over here. Merciful. Good one. Power. Pete's saying Holy. You know what holy means? It means pure, different, set apart, unlike anything else. You can carry on, if you get bored with what I'm saying, you can carry on thinking of different things in Jesus that, that you learn about God in him. I, got, I think you put most of the things that good, I'd put down wise, uh, thoughtful, kind, gentle, all of those, all of those. When we look at Jesus, we see what God is like. Now some of you, you're here this morning, and I'm so glad you are, but you, would, you wouldn't profess to follow Jesus, but I bet you you've got things that guide you in your life. There are things that call the tune, things that affect your decisions. I'm just going to pop a question out to you. What kind of God is your God like? Is your God kind and compassionate and thoughtful and merciful, long-suffering and patient and all of those things? Is he powerful? Is he able to make the difference? Just something to think about as you go away from Christmas Day. So the light of illumination, he shows us what God is like. A little bit later in the Gospel of John, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. He is the light of life. That's what I'm calling that one, the light of life. The light of the world. You know that light is necessary for a healthy life. Now, I've got to be careful because there's some medics in here that know a lot more about this, but it feels to me there's a lot of people coming out from the doctors these days with little jars and prescriptions for vitamin D. It feels to me, Daniel, I don't know if that's a thing, but we seem to be giving a lot more vitamin D and vitamin D you get from the sunlight. So people are unhealthy in one way or another, and lack of vitamin D, I looked this up on Wiki, so it's got to be true, um, can cause depression, back pain, bone loss, hair loss, mm-hmm, um, 
shush. Uh, low immunity, fatigue. If you've got any of those things, get yourself down to Daniel and he'll give you some vitamin D. It might be what you're needing. But vitamin D, one of the key sources, not the only source, but one of the key sources is, is sunlight, is the sun. Some people, some of you might suffer from sad, seasonal affective disorder. In the winter, you get the winter blues because you haven't got enough sunlight. Now, people can exist, they can live without Jesus, but I would suggest to you that the life without Jesus, the light of the world is stunted and in one way or another will be shriveled regardless of how many possessions and how many things that we have. We may not even be aware of it because we fill our lives, fill our time, fill our attention, fill our bank balances up. But what we find invariably is those things bring their own innate stress and anxiety and uncertainty. By contrast, Jesus brings life. Living with him, trusting him, following him enables life to be lived to the full. Fulfilling relationships purpose, value, achievements, rest. When we do things God's way, there is a sense of satisfaction. There is a sense of accomplishment, of something worthwhile, something that lasts into the future that isn't just for now. Jesus is the light of life. If you want real life, then get your vitamin D, but get Jesus all the more. And the last one in the picture, you've got signs that, that kind of tell people and help people to see where they're going. You've got the lady with the torch, you've got the cyclist with the headlight, you've got the cars with the headlights, you've got the miner's lamp. They're lights for direction to show you the way. And I think most of you know this about Jesus. One of his most famous sayings was, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. He is then the light of direction. Illumination, life, and direction. He came to show us the way to God. He came to show us that we don't get right with God. We don't get eternal life from what we do and how hard we try, however honest and sincere we are, by being a good, moral, upright person, going to church at Christmas with the family. Those things will never lead us to God. They're good, but they'll never lead us to God. Jesus said, I am the way. He is the only one that can deal with the problem that separates us from God. He's the only one that can deal and take away the things that have offended God and can make us acceptable to him. The Bible calls those things sin, where we've hurt God, where we've gone against his way. And he did that not by showing us a better example to live. He did that, I think most of you know this, he did that by dying on the cross and rising again. On the cross, taking the blame for the things that we've done wrong. I am the way. There's no other way. You can't get to God. I'm the only way. I'm the truth and the life. God loves you. God loves all of you, all of us, and he always will do. But it's no good us trying to earn his favor, trying to earn forgiveness. We simply, and this is the wonderful good news of Christmas, and it's this we finish with. We don't get right by God, with God by trying. We simply have to believe. We simply have to trust him. We simply have to follow him. It is so easy. It is ridiculously easy. It is kind of so simple that it's, we tend to recoil from it. It's got to be more than that. I've got to be able to do something towards it. No, we haven't. Jesus has done it all by coming down dying on the cross, rising, living in heaven, and we just have to say, sorry, Jesus. If, you're a, if you are a follower of Jesus, if you've done that today, then this should be a happy, happy Christmas. A happy, happy day. Because your sins, your relationship with God is put right. Whatever comes in the next year, over the next few days, next few months, you know that you're safe with him. He's on your side. He's watching over you. This powerful, mighty, Awesome Jesus, the King of all creation, the one through whom everything was made, the one without 
him nothing was made. He spoke and he brought it into being. This God who controls nature, who controls life, who's in control of death, he's yours. You can rest easy with that. If he's not, he can be yours. He can be yours. I don't know what's going on in life. I hope you have a really, really happy Christmas. But I don't know what the next year is going to be like for you. I don't know what family's like. I don't know what work is like. Health is like. But I do know what Jesus is like. And he loves you. That's why he came. And he wants to give you something better. And he'll say, come to me. Come to me. And find rest. This is the Jesus. This is the Saviour whose birthday we're remembering today. I'm so glad you're here. I hope something that we've said, something we've looked at, something that God has spoken to you straight from his word will live with you, something to go away and think about and just fill your heart with joy this Christmas. Let's finish with Hark the Herald Angels Sing, perhaps the greatest, best known, well known of all of the carols. Children, you have been fantastically well behaved today. You've been really, really good. You can go and let rip afterwards. No more restraints. No more being told to shh, be quiet. So may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, 
and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all this Christmas time and into the new year for his namesake and for your good and your joy. Amen. Happy Christmas to you all. God bless you. Go and enjoy the rest of the day and get home before the turkey gets burnt.